Good side. What's going on, guys? We're back in the kitchen here, doing a grocery haul video today, and this is from the grocery outlet. Uh, there's a few things just from the supermarket, like the bananas and stuff, but the majority of everything you see here is from the grocery outlet, which a lot of people wouldn't really think to, to go shopping there, especially if you're a vegan, plant-based, whatever, a vegetarian for that matter. But they do have lots of good organic stuff there and lots of good vegan stuff there. So I'm gonna go through it all, show you what we got here. Okay, so starting over here, we got some, this is just dishwashing liquid. That's the one that we typically buy. It's like, I'll kind of give you guys prices on this stuff too. This stuff is like $2.60 or something like that. These, I've never seen these before. White Castle Vegan. White Castle Vegan. So I got the black bean sliders and the veggie sliders. I've never had White Castle, period, let alone vegan White Castle. So these were $3.50 each, which is a little higher than I would normally want to pay for something. But hard to pass that up because I may never see these again. Got some of these vegan buffalo wings. Um, you know, not something that we eat super often, but hey, why not? It was vegan. Obviously, the Morningstar company is starting to make more things and label them with the V. So keep an eye out for these guys that are getting a little better on that. Some vegetable pot stickers here. These things are pretty awesome. Actually, I'll have to do a video with these things because they're pretty amazing. Uh, Gardein. Now, you can get Gardein pretty much anywhere, but this is a giant two-pound package that we got at the grocery outlet here, and it was like... I don't know, $7.99 or something. More or less, it's like half what you would pay buying them at the regular store. This is some Amy's Chinese noodles and veggies and a cashew cream sauce. Sounded pretty good. Obviously, it's vegan, gluten-free if you're into that as well. We got some Klaassen pickles. Very good. The I like We like the garlic ones. Now, these, again, something I've never actually seen. But something that sounded interesting veggie fritters from light life now light life is the one that makes like gimme lean sausage veggie dogs they make a lot of stuff i uh, just got some celery just some random stuff because i'm gonna be making some soup here but just some veggies did get this big bag of frozen strawberries at the grocery outlet also this bag of trail mix as well um they had these little tiny naked smoothies they were like 60 cents or something like that. So we just bought a couple. Why not? All right, uh, some organic Triscuits. Can't say I've ever seen these. These were 99 cents. These guys right here were like 250, I believe, by the way. Triscuits, Mediterranean style olive. Check the ingredients list, look good. Um, 99 cents for those as well. Laura Bars, it's another odd flavor. Strawberry chocolate chip. It was 2.99 for five bars. So not bad, a little bit off. Got this Moroccan pilaf, it's 99 cents, never had it before. Some rice and beans, five pounds of rice, two pounds of beans there. These chips, they're uh, 15 grams of protein per serving, four grams of fat, vegan obviously. Should be interesting, this is the tangy southern barbecue flavor, we'll see how those are. Wolfgang Puck black bean, soup and it doesn't say specifically vegan on there but we checked the ingredients it's good some uh pintos a la diabla sounded pretty good some dr pepper black beans these are the ones that we take camping with us typically amy's soups which are normally pretty expensive they were i believe a buck 49 each it was either a buck 29 or a buck 49 good so we got what split pea vegetable barley so two different flavors there these little chipotle peppers here should be good some turnip greens two things these are two for a dollar for these giant cans of turnip greens i mean i like turnip greens. some sriracha diced chilies never seen these before three for a buck so i got three cans got this uh interesting looking pasta sauce as well a couple things of tomatoes here got that 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 another thing of turnip greens lime juice veggie broth got th three things of veggie broth simply because it was 99 cents there and that's pretty good for organic vegetable broth i gotta say um got this guy here this is easy plant-based vegan mayo never seen this brand before but it was 99 cents so i figured i'd try it 
Got these veggie chips. Now these are obviously Halloween ones, but uh, why not? They were like a buck ninety-nine. Just birthday cake. Eat it raw cookie dough. These were two for a dollar. And uh, yeah, I never seen these before, but that should be interesting. Some jackfruit here. So we got teriyaki and barbecue. Two different types of jackfruits. We'll have to try those. These are also light life, the smart dogs. We like these. Um, two grams of fat, 50 calories. They're not like super crazy high in fat or anything like that, like some of those things could be. Diet cheese, however, is a little high in fat, but it was $2.50, which is quite a bit cheaper than it is at the regular store. So I did buy a package of that. Uh, we do get these world peas. We got barbecue and ranch. Both of them do state suitable for vegans. So two different flavors of those. These were 99 cents each. Damn good price on those. Laura Bar Bites. Mint chocolate truffle. Just six ingredients, which is always cool as well. That's why I like Laura Bar. These were 99 cents also. This guy is an oatmeal raisin spice, 18 grams of protein, certified vegan protein cookie. Should be interesting. Okay, and moving on here. Down, we got these little organic granola bars. You get six of them and checked it, vegan, good to go. 99 cents for six, pretty good. We got these, uh, now a lot of people know these, the Larry's Complete Cookies. 16 grams of protein per cookie, vegan, obviously. Um, you get four cookies here. These are the sorry, oatmeal raisin, as you can see there. There's the ingredients. Pretty, pretty good, non-GMO as well. And this was $2.99 for four cookies. Now, last but not least, we did find some coconut jerky over there. Uh, this is raw. So if you're into raw foods or whatever, that's apparently you can have this as well. There's three different types that we got. We got the cocoa, not super excited about that, but I am excited about the jalapeno lime jerky, coconut jerky, you can see it there. Looks good. There's a stats, we'll have to do a taste test video on this maybe. Here's the other one, which is teriyaki. Now the reason why I bought so many, because typically these packages are between three and five dollars if you're going to like Whole Foods or something. They were 99 cents each, so I bought four, six, seven packages of them. But uh, you know, it's one of those things where I'm not gonna find them for that price for a long time again, so I figured fuck it, might as well do that. Uh, anyway, that's that's it, that's what we got. So lots of good stuff, Some a lot of new stuff that I've never actually had before, which is good. Um, even if it's some of it's a lot of kind of vegan junk food, but that's all right. We'll see if it's any good. We'll try it out uh, That's gonna do it guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button till next time guys. Take care